Whenever you have the black pieces, there is always the risk of pretentious d4 players forcing you to grind out a slow, uninteresting positional game that ends in suffering and failure. Well, I have some very good news. There is a reply to d4 which has an insanely high win rate, is very easy to play, and makes the game instantly interesting. Strap in, prepare your toddler level attention span, and get excited, because in the next three minutes, I'm going to teach you how to play the d4 player's worst nightmare. It's called the Benko Gambit. It starts with d4, knight f6, c4, and then c5, attempting to undermine the strong central pawns. If your opponent is capable of eating solid food, they will play d5 to preserve the center. Now it's time for the gambit. Play b5, which offers white a free pawn. After they take your pawn, keep feeding the material with a6. Once they capture, just feed and cater your bishop with g6. Now you're shaking in fear because your pawn-grabbing, lentil-sized brain has just noticed that you're down two points of material. Just relax. It will all make sense very soon. White develops their knights, and you complete your feed and cater with bishop g7. After they play e4, just castle. White develops their other knight, and we have arrived at what is basically the starting position. This is how the banker will pan out 95% of the time. If you're worried about losing the other 5%, Fuck it, it's still worth it. The general plan here is to use these two open files for the rooks to attack white's weak queen side. The bishop on g7 is extremely strong, and combines with the rooks and queen to add overwhelming pressure to these pawns. Your pawn structure is going to be extremely solid after you play e6. These juicy advantages all come from throwing away the b-pawn, which is mostly useless anyway. Continue with queen a5, pinning the knight and threatening to take on e4. If they defend it with bishop d3, take on e4 and win the game like this. However, they will usually play bishop d2. When this happens, take the pawn on a6 with your bishop. Here white has two options. If they take your bishop, recapture with the queen. They will try to trade queens with you because they have an extra pawn and zero dignity. But it's okay. Just play e6, and after they take, recapture with the knight, and you have an amazing position. If white takes on e6, recapture with the f-pawn. White castles, and now you play knight b4, and then knight d3. Your knight is perfectly placed, your bishop is menacing, and the queen side pawns are now more fragile than the ego of a candidate master. If they castle instead of taking on e6, Go for knight b4 again, which presses d5 and aims to bring the knight to d3. Statistically speaking, they're most likely just going to throw the game by letting you come to d3, which is very generous. Otherwise, they'll capture the pawn, and you're in pretty much the same position as before. White's other option is to play bishop e2. Just complete your gorgeous pawn chain with e6. That's... Ah, oh, it's so nice and white will castle. When this happens, trade bishops on e2 and play queen a6. Once they take your queen, recapture with the knight and you're threatening to go to b4 and d3 just like the other line. If they prevent you from doing this with a3, bring your rook to b8 and you have immense nut-crushing pressure on the queen side. It's very easy for black to play and it's very hard for white to defend. But Ben, what if they decline the gambit? What are you fucking playing in the World Cup? They're not going to decline the gambit, dude. Just chill out. If they do something unexpected, always stick to the following plan. Sacrifice the b-pawn and the a-pawn, fianchetta the bishop, build this pawn chain, bring your rooks to the a and b file, and mercilessly bully white's queenside pawns for their weakness. And that's how you play the Benko Gambit. If you'd like to learn more about chess, or just want to absorb a modicum of my infinite charisma, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed it more than being waterboarded, and leave a comment asking me what you want to learn next. I'll see you next time.